Welcome to my channel, Recipes from Hema's Kitchen. I'm Hema Bhatt, and today I have a wonderful street food, Mumbai street food pav bhaji. Yes, loved by so many people. We just love it. It's a delicious mix of veggies served with hot bread. Let's see how to make this Mumbai pav bhaji. Before that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video with family and friends. Hit the bell icon so you're always notified of any new recipes that I put up. Let's make Mumbai Pav Bhaji. Let's run through the ingredients quickly. I'm taking oil, one tablespoon or so. Butter, I'm going to use for the wedge as well as to fry the bread. One big onion finely chopped. I've removed a little aside for garnish with limes. Then I'm using finely chopped teneros. Then two tablespoons of Everest Pav Bhaji Masala. You can use any Pav Bhaji Masala. Uh, finely chopped coriander red kashmiri chilli powder this gives color to the dish salt pao you can use any bread of your choice and these are the veggies that i'm using for the dish uh, you usually use a green capsicum but i'm using red because it gives a nice color i do not add color to my food artificial flavoring or color so these are the veggies green peas carrot potatoes cauliflower you can use any veggie of your choice i'm going to boil this and I'm going to retain the water that I boil it in as well for cooking. So now I'm heating a pan. I've added uh, one tablespoon butter. Once it's hot, I'm going to add finely chopped onions and I'm going to saute till it turns brown, golden brown. I'm adding a pinch of salt to uh, speed up the cooking process. Then I'm adding uh, ginger paste, garlic paste, and I'm going to saute this till the ginger garlic smell goes. Then two green chilies, crushed or finely chopped. Saute this together. Now add the tomatoes. Cook till the tomatoes are soft and mushy. I'm going to cover it for like a minute or so. After a minute, I'm going to mix well. Then I'm going to add the dry spice powders, chili powder. Pav bhaji masala powder. You can take less or more. I'm taking two tablespoons here. I like the nice spicy flavor. Salt as per taste. And if you think the spices are drying and burning, then you can add the water that we retained while cooking. So just two tablespoons and saute it. Now I'm going to add my vegetables, the boiled vegetables. I'm going to mix this well. Now I'm going to add uh, like half a cup of uh, the water that I used for boiling the veggies. And I'm going to mix well and cover and cook till the spices and the vegetables mix and cook together. After two minutes, I'm going to open. And now if you don't want to mash the veggies, then this is like khada pav bhaji. You can eat this also by heating the bread with butter. It will taste delicious. But I like to mash it and eat soft. My kids love that. So I'm going to mash these veggies using a potato masher. Keep mashing in the motion I'm showing. It's easier. There, the vegetables are mashed completely. Now the bhaji is ready. So I'm going to heat a pan. I like this step, you can skip, you can just put butter on the bread, pow, or whatever bread you're using and eat. But I like to do this step, so I put butter, little red chili powder, and a few uh, coriander leaves, finely chopped, little salt, like a pinch of salt. And now I'm going to cut the bread into halves, and I'm going to rub it in this spice mix, and I'm going to fry on both sides to light brown. This just gives a good taste, buttery and nice taste to the bread. So, did you love that minced, smashed veggies together with some nice spice and that hot bread, the onion and lime. Oh my God, I'm craving for it right now. I'm going to go and eat this now. Do let me know how you like this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon and I'll see you soon in my next recipe. Till then, stay safe, stay well, take care.